A California city wants to use drones to help save lives. Palo Alto hopes to become the first U.S. city to use unmanned aircraft to deliver blood from a blood bank to a hospital. The Federal Aviation Administration is reviewing the city's proposal along with about 150 others. The agency will approve 10 projects to move forward next month. But as Maria Virial shows us, some worry that more drones could create more harm. This could be the future of health care. Drones delivering blood in emergencies. At the Stanford Blood Center in the heart of Silicon Valley, Dr. Toffam's team collects about 200 pints of blood each day. Most of that supply is stored at the hospital. But sometimes there's a need for more. You can't plan for emergencies, and that's where uh, time becomes even more crucial. Right now, they use a courier service, but the process can be slow. It depends on the time of day, courier availability, uh, traffic conditions, anywhere from 30 to 60 minutes. And with a drone? With a drone, 10 minutes or less. That's a huge difference. It's a huge difference, and it, it can make a difference in a lot of people's lives. Andreas Raptopoulos is the CEO of drone delivery company Matternet. Okay. He showed us how it That's works. How drawing, right? The blood would be placed in a secure box and automatically loaded into the drone before taking off on a pre-programmed route. At the hospital, doctors use a QR code on their phone to unlock and grab the package. Zipline 138 is ready. Several of the projects the FAA is now considering deal with health care. Drone delivery company Zipline, which is involved in eight different proposals, says their drones can fly over 100 miles to shuttle medical supplies to rural communities. Under current federal law, drones must stay in the operator's line of sight. But next month, the FAA would waive those restrictions for the 10 pilot projects, opening up the possibilities for commercial drone use in the U.S. Regulators still have to tackle, though, those tough questions about privacy and safety. There's no telling what can happen. Palo Alto resident Katie Talbot, who lives near their proposed route, is concerned. I think they know that they would run into a lot of um, resistance from the neighborhood if they tried to fly over them with a load of blood. Matternet says the route will be over open space and says success here could ease some of the public's concerns. We believe strongly in, you know, healthcare being the first adopter of this type of technology because there's a very tangible and tremendous benefit there. Right now we're talking about drones delivering blood, but think of it more generally as drones delivering medical supplies. And when you do that, you know, there's a whole world out there that you can sort of change. Proving the sky is not the limit. For CBS This Morning, Mireya Villarreal, Palo Alto, California. They do things different in Palo Alto, don't they? It's they a totally different world. They are yeah. always thinking outside the box. Very nice, Mireya, thank you.